Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Take Care with O and I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I kind of explained a little bit why I went away and I got like I start I find it hard to focus. Like guys, I struggled to do a full talk through of like just talking about me. Mm -hmm. Stick on my teeth. Just talking about me when it's like doing makeup. Especially when I'm trying to do my eyeliner, I'd be like, I need to focus. I'm still kind of rusty. Like, just like, think about it, exactly how I wanted to come out, but it's like, it's okay. We'll take what we got. We're gonna be going up. This lipstick will not let me be great. But I'm so glad that you guys are here. To those of you who are, you are loyal and support me and want to see your girl popping guys we're so close to a thousand i need to stop being lazy and be serious but thank you guys for coming by to watch my channel without further ado let's see how we achieve this look and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share the video and please check out my kids daniel counselor because oh baby <laughs> okay yeah but let's get to the video and see how i achieve this it's been a very very long time and hence my new setup like my house is going under reconstruction as we speak so my setup is going to be different probably like every video because i need to figure out where i'm going to be more comfortable recording my hands are a little ashy so i'm going to put on some lotion before i start showing things where my hands are in there because we don't want no ashy ash how to achieve um a very nice skin prep if you guys see me moving up and down getting jacked, there's a bug in here and it's really gonna drive me crazy. But we're gonna talk about how to achieve a very good, flawless makeup skin. And these are the things I've learned from like taking some makeup classes. So the first thing first, you gotta make sure you take a shower. Cause I mean, why do you wanna put makeup in your Why you wanna put a makeup and your face is dirty? So after you take a shower, you wanna make sure you're moisturizing your face. And if you watch my skincare routine, for going to bed you know that i love using the nivea moisturizer so what i'm gonna do first is moisturize my skin so i have different kinds of moisturizing um creams that i use but i want to use nivea today because it's been a long time i used it and this one is more like a lotion base i'm just gonna go into my face with it and of course i'm gonna do a skincare slash good skin for foundation i have a pimple so ignore that Make sure you get the moisturizer to your nose. And I see my elbows a little ashy. <laughs> I'm trying not to make sure my mirror is in front of me or in the middle. So I tend to like just look down. So now that my mirror is far from me, I have to learn how to do my eyebrows with it being far. I'm just kidding. I'm going to use my smaller mirror for my eyebrows because a girl cannot come and kill herself. Now my all-time moisturizer, you guys always see this on my channel. That and the Nivea one is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. And with this one, I like to focus it under my eye, but after a while, I feel like it starts to burn. Not, I don't know, maybe because it's, like, it's meant to be like doing something with your skin and not just staying in one place. Get the corners of your nose. This one is really good if you have um, oily skin, sorry. This Neutrogena one is really good if you have oily skin. And it hurts when you do your makeup and you have a big pimple that's ready to rupture. I'm trying to show you guys the different types of moisturizers I use. I got the Travel Size Rose Gold um, by Fa Salib. And I put that to the side. Since we're already so moisturized, we don't need that much. So give yourself like a little teardrop. And then you just want to moisturize it into the skin. So I take my primer and the primer I'm using is this kind of fast photo finish primer. And you just take just like a little piece size of it. The reason we're using primer is because you got to make sure you're locking that foundation into the skin. You want to make sure it's going in with you like ain't nobody gonna hurt 
what am I even, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just so happy that my skin looks moisturized. You're just gonna make me ignore that. So now we're gonna be starting with my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. You don't wanna apply it too much to your lid, but when you're doing something creative or colorful look, you definitely want to make sure it doesn't blend in. Just tapping it into my skin and bringing it to the corners just in case eyeshadow gets in there. And I'm gonna be using this orange shade first as my transition color. When you're doing your makeup, guys, if you feel like it's not coming right, just keep going, follow through with the plan you're coming through, and then like try to work on the second eye and practice it and see if you can get it better. Because this eye was supposed to be like my go-to eye for doing stuff and it didn't come out right. Use the brown shade. I can show you guys how to fix it if you do feel like you wiped away everything you don't feel your skin prep because I made a mistake it's not how I was meant to go but oh well. Going in with my natural beige concealer from Milani I'm gonna cut my crease but not completely because I'm just cutting it so I can do like the neon highlighted Two, I'm gonna be using one of the neon eyeshadows. I got this from What's Her Face But Cosmetics. It's or DFA Cosmetics. She's based in UK. So my eyelid, basically where I put the concealer. So I'm just taking the concealer and I'm just gently raising it up and still giving myself room to have a. Basically a nice line. Now it's tacky, so I'm gonna tap that pink shade in. I'm just tapping it and bringing it down. Then we're gonna draw a backwards line. Eyeshadow, the green eyeshadow, I'm using is this green one right here. the blender like I did you want to reapply your moisturizer so whatever was lost you replacing it and the foundation I'm using is the choose place I'm just gonna take my moisturizer and add a little bit to my lotion I mean <laughs> to my foundation into my face, I'm gonna go with my Every Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. I'm gonna be going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna be adding the points of my bottom eyes in the middle. If you have been sleeping on Morphe, Morphe setting spray, don't because this spray is big. Like ever since I got it, it's misty, it's not watery, so you don't feel like your makeup's gonna run and it's not affecting your eyes. So I'm gonna be using pretty usual my glow kit. I'm gonna go with all of Going next, I'm gonna be using my Morphe True Story. And lastly, we're gonna be going with Fenty. 